Alright everybody, it's uh, Larry and it's 6.15 July 14th on a Monday. I'm heading out to the Red Dog Claim. Uh, it's already 90 degrees this early in the morning, so I've got to get a whole bunch of dirt and get out of here quickly. I'm supposed to get up to triple digits. And I haven't been out here for a couple months, so I don't know if people have you know, been digging in my spot. There's nothing left. I'll find out. I actually thought I might try a different claim called the Oral Grande uh, and another club I'm in, but uh, I misplaced the map, so... And then I thought, yeah, you know, I can't do any exploring with all this heat, so we'll save that for a cooler time. Even though it's in the 90s, this cloud covering is helping me out from blocking the sun. And, you know, normally that would make it real humid, but there's a breeze, so, so it's not too bad so far. But uh, like I say, in the afternoon, there's supposed to be a big thunderstorm here, so I'll be long gone by then. It takes a while to fill up a bucket here because this ground's pretty hard. I have to kind of use the uh, shovel like a pick. Show you see how hard it is here. So you have to try to keep breaking it up to get enough for a shovel full. Yeah, somebody's been out here doing a lot of dry washing since I was here last. It's been actually a couple months since I've been here. I can't blame them for working in my spot. Uh, but uh, I wish they hadn't worked wrong. Here's what I'm saying. I had from right down there, coming up here to there, it's about 18 feet of workable area I, I've been working on. I, I got it where you could walk in here and it's fairly, it was fairly level. Well, instead of setting up their dry washers down there at the bottom and just carrying the buckets a couple feet, they had to set the dry washer up here. And so they've actually covered up 12 feet of gold producing area. I mean, it's got tons of dirt on here. I'd be here half the day just moving the stuff out of the way. And I don't have that kind of time because of the heat coming on in the rain later. The other thing they did they must have decided to just knock that overburden down for some reason. So now you've got this whole area with tons of overburden that's pretty much useless. So that leaves me with about a three foot long, three to five foot area here, maybe four feet, to work. And uh, so I'm hoping I'll find something. Uh, yeah, whoever did that, if you see this video, maybe that's why you came here, you saw my other videos. If you see this video, work smart next time. You covered up most of the area where the gold was really good. So if you come out, maybe you can shovel all your stuff out of the way and uh, start fresh. Okay, it's 8 o'clock, I'm out of here. So the only area I could dig in was just right in here. So I put a little dent into it. And I think it looks like off in the distance it might be raining a little way out there. So I think I'm getting out of here and right in time.
I got from the red dog out of about seven buckets. It's some of it's still hidden under the black sands, but uh, some nice sized pieces in there. So here's my cleanup from the Red Dog, seven buckets worth. Some pretty nice pieces in there actually. I uh, I have three more buckets to go through. Now what they are, they're just I got three buckets of the tailings that were there. I wanted to see if uh, whoever was going through it with their dry washer. If they missed anything and how much so I'll run those when it's not so hot there's probably nothing or very little in those three buckets I'm assuming unless they didn't know what they're doing at all we'll see <laughs> 